Well, it's another day, and uh, it's cold over here in this corner. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, got a book uh, called Sketchbook, uh, the 1837 Sketchbook of the Western Fur Trade. And uh, this guy analyzes the artwork of Alfred Miller, who came out west in the early 1800s and was one of the few people who illustrated the uh, mountain man and uh, in the book he sort of goes through uh, paintings by Alfred Miller and then redraws them and analyzes them and writes a little bit of the history of the mountain man as well and uh, it's a great book for somebody who is a Western artist and uh, would like to know a little bit more about the early mountain men and what they wore. Uh, he explains hats and caps and things like that and fur cap, I mean, uh, felt hats and all that stuff. So it's, it's a book well worth getting and it only cost I think something like nine bucks on, uh, you know, when you do a search for it. Anyway, that's the uh, title of the book, and I'm just passing on this information to all my artist friends who do Western art. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to work on this uh, arm and uh, the shirt. Um, still got a big gap back here. Got to rearrange that because uh, of my cutting the arm away. And... Uh, so, I think I'll get some light on that for the way this hand turned out. The upper, the upper war club is the one I went by. This is a great tool. It's uh, made out of steel. I got it from uh, SculptureDepot.net and uh, in Loveland, Colorado. And uh, there's a guy in Pakistan who makes these, and I think most of their metal tools uh, from uh, scrap metal from old uh, ships that have been washed up on shore. And so it's a recycled steel, which I think is great idea and uh, he's a heck of an artist with the uh, tools. I understand a lot of uh, surgical tools are made in Pakistan as well. At least that's what I was told. If you're going to put a texture into a clay you want to make sure that the whole shirt or the item that you're Sculpting has the same texture. You don't want to have a different texture on the back than you have on the front. So if you're using one particular tool for texture, tool for texture, make sure you use it all over the item. Whether you're doing a western or, you know, whatever. Just make sure your textures are uniform okay I kind of like that
my camera quit recording on me, so just uh, made a little wrap on the bottom of the uh, uh, club for the wrist, uh, or to hang the uh, <coughs> war club uh, from a saddle or whatever. And now let's get to work on the back part of this guy. I think what I'm going to do is not going to be any different than what I did here. So I'm going to call it quits for today and uh, continue working on this without the camera because my camera is starting to die. And, uh, so until next time, have a great night and happy sculpting.